hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna be doing my makeup for you guys um it's a saturday night i'm not even going anywhere but i just want to do my makeup in this cute little barbie shirt um it has barbie on the back so yeah it's super cute i got this from target and i'm also wearing this lip gloss that my little sister got for me she got this from Target. This is in the shade Coconuts About E. So yeah, as you can see, my skin has a lot of pimples on it. Um, I'm still trying to like clear up my skin. So I don't know, I've never really had acne this bad before in my life. Like I've always had really clear skin. So this is like really new for me. I ordered these little turmeric, turmeric face cleansing pads. So that should be here by Monday. And then I think I'll use that for like a week and record it to see how my skin um, starts clearing up. And I also got the little soap bar too. So I can use that also. I start off with my brows so that's what i'm gonna do first okay, so this is what i used to do my eyebrows um first i like use eyelash glue and just glue them down and i use this lash duo glue so i'm just brushing them upwards um, I don't like to brush it all the way up, just a little bit up. Okay, now I'm going to take this concealer. This is from the brand Kosas. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's in the shade 03W. Um, this is from Morphe. This is the L200. So I'm just going to go underneath of my eyebrow and you really don't need a lot of product like how i did you really don't need that much i always do my eyeshadow first because i don't want the eyeshadow to mess up my foundation and you guys my eyebrows they never match um this eyebrow is always different. Like, they're always different, but I don't really care, to be honest. As long as they both look neat, that's all that I care about. Like, it doesn't have to be perfect. Now, I'm just going to take any old concealer. This concealer is so old. I have not used this in I don't know how long. I'm just going to put a little swipe like that. And one little swipe like that. Put it in gonna put a little bit of powder on top of it then I'm gonna use this palette for cute I got this at Ulta I forgot how much it was but you can just look it up online it says the coffee shop okay so I'm gonna do this color right here they there's no names on here so I don't know what the name of it is but it's just brown and this brush is morphe Jeffree Star JS6. I love these brushes. Like when they first came out, I ordered like four um, pouches of them so that I could always have them because this color pink is my favorite color. Basically, just tap into the color, tap off the excess eyeshadow. And let's start blending. I like to do tapping so that um, I actually get the color payoff to show. And you can wear this brown with anything, especially now that it's fall season this palette 
is perfect for fall. This brown is perfect. Like, you just want to do a quick little everyday look. Just use this, but just use a little bit less eyeshadow. Okay, so now I'm going to use this JS5 brush color right here. It's like a tan beige color. And I'm just tapping it like this. And then you do that to get the to get the excess product off and then i'm just gonna go on top of that and blend it okay so you see how i'm going like this it's just like smoking it out pretty much now i'm gonna do a cut crease um, i'm gonna use the same concealer that i already used before i'm just gonna take a little bit on this brush this brush is so old this is from anastasia beverly hills um i don't know there's no number on it And just take your time with this part. Make sure that both of your eyes are symmetrical. Try to get them as symmetrical as you can. They don't have to be perfect, but you just want to make sure that they look pretty symmetrical. If you can. And some people, they like to, like, look up, but, um, I'm not doing that right now because sometimes it makes it go too high up. And if your thing is too high up, it starts to look like a clown. To me, it looks like a clown, so. This one is a little bit higher than this one. But it's okay. Well, now that I'm finished with that, I don't know if I want to use either this color or... Isn't this palette so cute? My friend got me this for my birthday and I am obsessed. This is so cute. I want to use like maybe this color but i don't know there's a lime green okay don't come for me my brush is a little bit dirty and it's a little bit stained but this is the js 10 go in with this color health is wealth it's like a lime green color Look. wow that is really pigmented one thing about p louise they are always going to step when it comes to their products. I am a really big fan of, of her and her brand. Like if I was ever able to have a makeup brand, I would want it to be just like hers. Her, you could tell that she puts time and quality, quality, sorry, and like effort and she really puts her energy into her products and you can definitely see it i love her brand and i always recommend her brand to anybody that is doing makeup and no i'm not sponsored it almost looks lime green like i'm sorry neon it almost looks neon lime green it's giving me that like look at that that is fire okay so now i'm gonna use this color and go at the ends like at the corner i don't know what it's called and i'm just gonna pat it like that Now I'm just going to take this little brush and kind of like, you'll, you guys will see. 
trying to like go like this to make a smoked eyeliner, but it's not really like eyeliner. Okay, so I have all of these rhinestones. I have some really cute ones. But I think I'm just going to use the regular um, silver ones. You guys, I hope this is cute because I've never done this before. I got this little tool from Sheen. This was like a dollar. Maybe two dollars at the most. So yeah. Definitely go get one if you guys need these. Because on Amazon, they're like eight dollars. So... Okay, so this is how the eyes are looking. I added some glitter. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of primer. I don't really need a lot because my face is already oily and has pimples on it. So I'm gonna use this brush to apply it. This is such a nice brush. It's so soft. Now I'm gonna use this foundation. This is the Dior Forever Transfer Proof 24 Hour Foundation High Perfection Concentrated Floral Skin Care with Sunscreen. And it also has um, SPF 15. This is in the shade 3W0. I need to get some new foundation. Honestly, I'm really tired of this foundation. It's not even my um, shade anymore because I have a tan, a slight tan. And so this is kind of too dark. I mean, too light. It's a little bit too light for me, but that's okay. Do I like this foundation? Yes. Would I buy it again? No. Um, I don't really like how it smells really, really... Um, like, it has a very strong fragrance, and it burns my eyes a little bit. Like, it's so strong. So, yeah. This foundation is really, really light. Um, smells like flowers. It does cover up some of my acne, but mm, I don't know. I've had better foundations. Okay, so I've really been liking um, doing a pink under eye, but I don't have any pink concealer. So I mix this blush with this concealer. And I just mix it on my hand. Um, I feel like pink, the pink under eye, it just looks so good to me. At first I was like, what is that? I didn't think it was gonna look good, but then I tried it out and it looked really good. So if you guys are thinking about doing like a pink under eye with pink concealer, you should definitely try it. I can say that I really like it, especially like since it's been hot outside, you don't even really have to use blush because I don't really like blush. I mean, I do like it, but I don't love it. I don't always want to wear it. So yeah, it just looks like this and I mix it all up 
until I get the shade of pink that I want. And I like using um, darker pinks because light pink is, it's a little bit too much, kind of looks like a clown. So whenever I do wear blush, I always get a darker shade because I don't want to look too crazy. So this is like the color that I'm wanting. It looks like this. And now I'm going to put it under my eyes. I'm putting it like towards the center because um, in the beginning I like to do a brighter concealer right there. So yeah, I'm putting it like in the middle. And then I'm going to take this Fenty Beauty Concealer. This is in the shade 140. This is the Pro Filter instant retouch concealer and i really like this concealer um this is like one of the best concealers i've had in a long time it's really really creamy it does not smell super fragrancy because i hate that and the applicator is really nice it's really soft it's not hard and it's like it's kind of bendy so I really like that and I kind of do my nose contour with concealer So yeah, this is how it looks. Now I'm just going to go ahead and blend that out. I start from the bottom and just go work my way up. And this is like a thing that I do. I kind of hold the sponge at an angle so that way it makes my concealer go upwards and it just gives that like lifted effect I guess. That pink is fire. I'm obsessed with it because my favorite color is pink so just to even do pink concealer is mind-blowing I'm so glad whoever came up with this idea yeah it makes me look like I have on like blush and that blends out super easy I love watching people blend out concealer it is so satisfying Okay, so I'm just taking it on my forehead. It's looking good, looking good. Now I'm gonna use this um, setting powder. This is the Huda, Huda, I don't know how to say that. <laughs> Huda Beauty Pound Cake. I don't really like that name, it's really awkward. When I do my powder, I use one of these. This is like a little triangle powder puff. And I put it right here like this. Dip it in. And then I go like this to wipe it off so that it's all like the same amount, I guess. And then I go underneath. On the other side, do the same exact thing. This is my favorite part of doing my makeup. 
My favorite part is doing um, concealer and setting my concealer. Um, one thing about me though is that I never, I rarely ever do um, cream contour. It just never really looks right, right on me unless I'm really tan. Most of the time I'm not that tan, so. I just do contour with my bronzer powder, I guess. And that's after I finish this. And I also don't really bake my setting powder. Like a lot of people put a lot on and they like to really bake or let it sit and bake into their skin, I guess. But me, I don't really do that. I don't like my face to be that dry and powdery. I only want to put a little bit of powder. I really don't like to put a lot of powder on my forehead. Like, I don't mind if it's shiny. I only like my under eyes to be powdery. And make sure you get like right here on the side of your nose because you always want to make sure you get that little crease right there on the little corner. Now I'm just going to dust it off a little bit because like I said I don't really like to bake or do that. So now that looks good enough for me. Now I'm going to use this setting spray. This is the Morphe Continuous Prep and Set Mist supercharged with ceramides and antioxidants i don't know this just this just looked really cute to me because it's like bronze so kind of reminds me of like the summer i guess make sure you have your fan because it's going to be really wet And you can dab it in just to make sure that the thing is like sliding around or like dripping down because sometimes I spray too much setting spray and my makeup will literally start dripping down my face. So you want to make sure you spray the right amount, not too much but not too little. And then pat it in and let it dry with this little fan. Okay, now I'm going to do my bronzer. This is my all-time favorite bronzer. This is the Juvia's Place Bronze Bronze Tan. Or in the shade Tan. I like to use both. But I do use this one more. And I tap it. I just do tapping motions, just tap it right here, that way you don't have like white, um, if your foundation is too light for you, just put it right here so that way um, you don't have white foundation in your hairline, like me, and then put some right here, I like to put it right here. I do put some like it's getting my hair but it's okay put it right here on my temples mm. obviously you put some on your cheeks tap it look how good that looks like Juvia's Place did what they had to do I will forever buy this product 
I know I'm not sponsored by them. I just really, really love this product. And I just, I'm always going to stand beside it. Because it has never done me wrong. You want to make sure you put some on your neck. Put it all right here, but do not put too much because it's going to look weird. You could go like that and put it right here just so that your foundation matches your neck. I'm going to do my nose contour. This brush is from P. Louise. It is the number 283. It looks like this. And... Just go right on top of that concealer. It's already right there, so it's easy for me to just follow what's already right there. And I don't really put concealer right in the middle of it. I probably should to make it look more skinnier, but This is fine because I'm kind of rushing now to be finished with this video. Okay, I did put a little bit of concealer in the middle to make it look skinnier. And then I, I go right on top of the lines to like blend them back into my skin. I've been having this highlighter for years. Um, I have highlighters, but I don't feel like looking for them right now. So I'm just gonna use this. I use this literally every day for my everyday makeup. So this is Morphe High Impact Highlighter in the shade Extra. Take a small brush, try to get the smallest brush you can find and dab it and go right here in the middle just softly and then go right here at the tip and that's literally all you need try not to do any more than that um yeah this is gonna make it look really skinny now um you guys i don't put highlighter on my cheeks i just i hate that Okay, so these are the lashes that I use from Amazon. I can't pronounce the name, but this is what they look like. If you guys want to order them, I could just leave them in my description box below. But yeah, I'm just going to put these on real quick. Okay, so I just did my lashes and then I put um, the dark brown color from the Juvia's Place eyeshadow palette on my bottom. Um, I don't know what it's called, bottom lid, I guess. I don't know. And then now I'm putting some mascara. Oh, it's called a waterline, sorry. Not waterline, <laughs> I don't know what it's called. Um. But yeah, I'm just putting some mascara and I am basically done. Uh, the only last thing that I'm going to do is put some glitter in the inner corners and that's it. This look is, oh yeah, oh my god, I forgot to do my lips. I'm going to use this glitter pigment. Um, it's like white gold. This brush is in the... This brush is the JS12. Ooh, wow, that's a lot. I didn't mean to put that much, but it's okay. And that's really glittery, so yeah. Yeah, you could see this from a mile away. It's cute. Okay, let me do my lid. This is, um, I think this is like for your eyes, but I'm going to use it for my lips because I don't have a pencil sharpener. And, 
can't use my other. Can't use my other um, colors. Oh my god, you guys, I never use dark lip liner like this. It's okay. Okay, it's out of these three. I don't know which color. Um, I really like this one, but I don't think I'm going to do that one today. I think I'm going to do this one. This one's a little bit too dark brown for me. So I think I'm going to do this one. Oh my god, this is in the shade Fortune Cookie. And it smells like a fortune cookie. This is pretty. Smells like vanilla, candy, sugar cookies, confetti, cupcakes. It smells so good. You guys, I don't like this lip liner. It's too dark. I don't like dark lip liner. I don't like it. I just go right on top of it. And that makes it a little bit lighter. Okay. I think I am going to take this. This is my favorite top tier makeup brand besides P. Louise is Peaches and Cream because they have the best lip liners and they have the best lip glosses and they smell so good. I always get asked me like, what lip liner is that? What lip gloss is that? And it's this. And I always kind of gate kept it for a long time. I didn't want nowhere to know what it was, but yeah, and it always makes my lips look bigger because it's so pigmented. Okay, whatever. These lips are gonna have to be good enough. This is the finished look. Um. I think I'm gonna, well, I don't think I am gonna change my shirt. I'm gonna change my clothes and I'm gonna make some more videos on here. So, yeah. This is the finished look. It's giving Halloween, it's giving it's kind of giving that, like the back decoration. But yeah, I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys enjoy this makeup look. I hope you guys liked me talking about these products. I'm definitely going to go get some more products. Um, I'm definitely going to go get a pencil sharpener so I could use different lip liner colors because i do not like this dark color but for the most part i really do like this look um would i wear this outside maybe maybe for october but yeah bye guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm definitely going to be doing some more videos just like this so yeah make sure you guys subscribe to my channel Leave a like, leave a comment if you guys enjoyed it. Ah, I, must, I almost dropped this mirror on the floor. But yeah, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, please and thank you. 
And yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.